make sure you like share and subscribe here's love tarot shout out to everybody who's took the time out to click on my video and hear what i gotta say on this saturday afternoon evening night morning whenever you're hearing it it's meant for you to hear also if this video popped up and you're up next uh suggested or most recommended this means that there's a message in here for you as well okay so be patient and watch the video the full way through so you don't miss out on any messages my readings are general so only take what resonates okay do not try to make something stick that ain't for you all right so i hope everybody is having a good weekend if you're in your feelings you need to get out of them right now go outside get pretty even if you don't feel like it okay get up do something with yourself comb your hair okay and for those of you well just not even just comb your hair just go do something to smile take the kids outside or something um also if you guys are feeling better if you ain't in that depressed energy you already know what's up go do some grounding take a walk meditate do some affirmations okay so this video is going to be about how your person's night went last night, okay? What was on their mind? Um, what are things they possibly did, experienced, how they were feeling, okay? Pertaining to you or just period, what was going on in their life? So Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Master Sananda, please put the light around me and my viewers. Protect us from any negative energies as we watch this, as they watch this video and as I channel love and light again to everybody all right clear any negative energies around my viewers ooh, ooh, ooh. okay so spirit 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 give me cards on what my viewers person was doing last night what were they doing last night okay give me three different cards this is for you guys who are in no communication with your person so when i split the deck we got mass uh divine masculine the major narcissist okay we got karmic sex magic all right and then let's see what's over here on this side we got moving out okay and calling around phone conversations all right so this is for three different energies that i'm picking up on Okay, there were three different energies. So there's a lot of different masculines that fall or feminines. Okay, if you're a man watching this, flip this for how it is for you. But there are a lot of masculine and feminine energies that are falling in different energy categories. Okay, so for some of you guys as masculine, you guys as masculine was having some sex. Okay, they was being sexually active with a karmic. They may have hooked up with a karmic person that they've been dealing with or somebody they just met okay like i said these energies these masculines and for you men these feminines are butt hurt about a lot of things right now they're trying to do a lot of shit to keep themselves distracted from the things that they have to deal with the things that are unfolding in their life right now okay for some of these masculines due to them being sexually active and having impulsive sex they are gonna end up running into a pregnancy okay that they don't want or that they don't need at the moment okay and some of these masculines are very fertile naturally or very fertile right now and it goes both ways for the woman okay or a karmic that this masculine energy is dealing with could be very fertile at the mo moment or ovulating at the moment okay spirit is saying no all right so to the masculine they need to not be doing things like this all right they need to not be having unprotected um sex or for some of these masculines are protecting themselves when they're engaging in sex with these karmic people that they're involved with because they still want to be a family with you somebody still has hope for a relationship to gain um wisdom and trust again so somebody's not trying to make any more mistakes or do anything to push you any further away um so even though they were out fucking around they definitely are being safe um with how they're doing this also somebody's karmic 
was using sex magic on a masculine because like I said in the previous video there is a karmic that's angry and she can see now that she's kind of the backup plan or the person this masculine runs to when things is going bad in their life and she's not happy with the fact that she's been being used this whole time or just been a token to this masculine energy okay so she's only back fucking for somebody somebody's masculine okay a small energy that I'm picking up on. Somebody's masculine is dealing with a karmic that's out for revenge, but she's playing it cool, okay? So, like I said, somebody's karmic is doing sex magic to even get the masculine hard or horny, whatever, all right? So, give me a card for how... Give me a card for how this masculine... We got partnership and alliance. How this masculine was feeling while he was engaging in these um, activities with this karmic, okay? So this masculine was feeling a disruption within himself, okay? This man looked like he's irritated as fuck that he's, like he got his hands fold, he's mad. He's like, uh, I'm doing something I don't wanna do. I'm tired of doing shit like this. I'm tired of living like this. I'm just tired. Like, I need to get my shit together. Or why this masculine was sexually involved with this karmic, this is the energy he was in, okay? He, you know, he, she could feel that he didn't really want to do shit with her, okay? Also, this masculine knows that by dealing back with this karmic energy or going back to his old ways, like let's say if he stopped being a cheater at a point for you, now he's back to being a cheater. It doesn't have to be a specific karmic, but ISIS, stop. Sorry, y'all. Um, it doesn't have to be a specific karmic energy. It could just be he's back to the immature things that he used to do with women or money, whatever. Either way it goes in this sexual sense, He's fucking with somebody that he looks at as an alliance or somebody that he comes to when he needs something, when he needs help, okay? When he's fighting something, when he's fighting being broke, when he's fighting nobody wanting to fuck with him. This Whoever he dealt with is somebody he's been dealing with, okay? Somebody he could have possibly been dealing with for three years, okay? This person could have been a problem for three years. Also, somebody that was on the 16th day. Okay, one of these karmics that your masculine could have been dealing with last night sexually or that's putting sex magic on this uh, masculine energy's birthday could fall on the 16th day. So let's see, what was this masculine's personality like yesterday while encountering these events or being around this particular woman? What, was, what, was, what personality, what ego was he in? Let's see, these cards are kind of new. We got shapeshifter. <laughs> okay, it says the light attributes, the skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. And then the shadow attribute is projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment, okay? So there was some, thank you, Spirit. That was complete confirmation, okay? Last night, this masculine was doing something that he really didn't want to do. Like I said in this card right here, he hated that he had to fuck whoever he fucked or he hated that he was doing something so disgusting that he know if you found out about you ain't fucking with him or it's going to make more problems in your relationship, okay? This masculine is also out for financial benefit with this whoever, whatever karmic energy he was with last night, he's out for financial benefit in the situation, okay? And I feel like this could be a woman that he does not enjoy sex with, okay? So maybe he put magic on himself if he's open and knows about magic or maybe he just, you know, he has to bring his mind other places to get through sex with whoever he was having sex with, okay? I know it's strange why have sex with somebody that you don't want to even have sex with or you're not even horny for, you can't get your dick hard for. Men will do crazy things, um, when they're codependent, when they're scared of being alone, okay? When they don't feel like there'll be anything without um, people around them or in their face all the time, okay? This is a narcissist, okay? This is somebody who 
is just plain crazy, okay? Especially when it comes to money. He'll put up with whatever. And whoever this um, karmic person is, she got the dollars to throw at this masculine, okay? So I feel like, like this goes back and matches to my previous videos with this masculine energy thinking that he can go sleeping with different women to make himself rich. He feel like I get a piece from this woman, this woman, this woman. And when I look up, I got $10,000, okay? Or tax time coming around, I'm going to get her taxes, her taxes, her taxes, her taxes. And yeah, okay? <laughs> These men is crazy. It's, and it's crazy what a woman will do to keep a man. It's crazy that a woman will go to work and work 40 hours a week, bust her ass back hurt and come home and clean and just hand her money over to a man that's lazy all fucking day and laying around. And this is not everybody's situation, but this is just typical, okay? Or just hand a check over thinking that, oh, if I give him $800, he's going to notice me more. Like this money stuff, you guys got to, you guys got to stop looking at money so importantly because it's, it's taking over how things should really be. Okay, so that's how somebody's masculine was last night. He was in a shapeshifter energy. He flipped his mind. Okay, this is a masculine that has multiple personalities, that has, you know, different feelings and emotions. All the fucking time, they can switch to the nice guy, to the mean guy, to the baby guy, to the grown, mature guy. They have multiple personalities. I feel like this is somebody who you wake up every morning with. They might be somebody different, okay, with their personality. So, yeah, somebody's masculine, put on his uh, big boy pants and, and stopped himself from throwing up to engage in a sexual encounter with somebody he really don't want to be dealing with because he's in love with you. His feelings is with you, but everything is just so fucked up now in you guys' relationship that it's no point of, it's some of you guys' relationships are unfixable, okay? And some, they are fixable. They just don't know, they know they got to heal themselves. They know they got to do a lot of work before they come to you. You've made that clear. So it's a hard situation for some people okay it's masculine and they're sleeping around to get over this pain all right so let's move on to this calling around phone conversations okay so give me a few calls okay when i split the deck we got bad breakup okay i'm gonna do yeah tarot reading um spiritual person and we got money getting tight full of resentment okay to clarify the cards with this calling around, all right? So somebody's masculine uh, spent their Friday evening or Friday calling around, talking to people about a breakup that happened, okay? Also, somebody could be watching tarot readings, could be a tarot reader, or is very spiritual, okay? So this just looks like somebody's masculine was calling around. Um, somebody could have found out their masculine's plot or a karmic could have found out they masculine's plot or just i don't know somebody's watching videos and they're getting wiser and they're getting smarter okay and it's causing people to disconnect from toxic situations all right i feel like for sure there's some karmics that have been b b trying to become more spiritual or trying to cleanse their karma and and get right because of tarot readings okay also like i said this masculine could be dealing with a tarot reader or somebody could be psychic or somebody could be very heavily on a spiritual journey all right and your person could be on a spiritual journey or your person may not be on a spiritual journey and just you are and this is a part of why you guys had to break up because they're holding you back from elevating okay they you, you've been trying to save this person and help them grow as much as you kid could you did all you could and they still didn't want to see the light they didn't want to walk in the light with you so you had to walk away because this person kept keeping you in resentment energy all right but last night somebody is was on the phone talking about how they fucked everything up okay somebody was really in their feelings somebody's masculine or feminine was really in their feelings to a woman or just to friends that they feel is gonna get them some real advice. I feel like this person has certain people that they tell certain things to. So whoever this person was that they were calling, they were really opening up. You know, they were opening up about their money problems, about how they in love with you, but the way they've shown you love has got you totally flipped and thinking like, um, there's no way this could ever be fixed. All right, some of you guys are ready to follow your dream. 
and they know that. They also telling this person you're no, no longer, the sex ain't keeping you locked down like it used to. Like in the past, they will come put that dick on you and you know, you will forget everything bogus that they've done to you, all right? And they telling whoever this person is, like, look, I can't even fuck her. Like, if you've been dibbling and dabbling with your person from time to time, they saying, like, I can't even fuck her properly without her, you know, thinking that I'm fucking somebody, the sex ain't the same. Also, it's just not keeping her stuck anymore, okay? Somebody's just really opening up about, a bad breakup okay also this person can be experiencing a bad breakup with somebody else other than you they could be losing a lot of people this kind of ties into this sex shit all right this is a masculine energy that's going through a bad breakup that is also sexing a lot of people because he's hurt because he's hurt because you don't want them anymore and he's hurt that you know possibly another woman don't want them anymore or you know they've burnt their bridges every door they had access to every key they had to another woman's house they were beginning to make this woman or these women feel resentful towards them so nobody ain't fucking with them the way they used to all right and like i said money's getting tight there's only a certain amount of people that's willing to help this masculine or feminine or there's only a certain type of woman or certain people that still will give this masculine energy play okay but you told them this will happen to them i feel like you know, I feel like you guys played that shit back. You let them know what it was, okay? Also, there's a masculine calling around um, because, you know, you're moving on as well, like I said. And they just really fucking nervous, okay? So, let's see. How did this conversation that this masculine has had with whoever he trusted make him feel afterwards or during it doesn't it doesn't matter how were they feeling talking to this person you know give me a few cards for things this person brought to your person's attention let's see give me a card for how this conversation made this masculine feel Power, okay, so somebody's masculine is a Leo. You see the t uh, lion there, and this is an older man. So somebody's uh, guy that they're watching this video towards could be an older man or um, somebody's birthday is on the eighth month or the eighth day. Okay, so somebody was empowering your masculine last night, making them feel better, making them um, believe in themselves, you know, not really putting them down for, because they do know your person is a bogus person, a bogus energy, but they, you know, they just kind of just, you know, gave them words of power, you know, they still didn't, they told them like it was, they kept it real with them, but they still made them feel like, look, you a warrior, you know, this ain't the first time you fucked up, this ain't gonna be the last time, okay, you just need to better yourself, this is kind of like what somebody told your person, how else did this make this mess up? feel intuition okay somebody was telling your masculine that they need to use their intuition about this situation that they need to think positive that they should have used their intuition they shouldn't have ignored it they should have just um you know listened to you they should have trusted your intuition as well also like i said somebody was dealing with a psychic woman all right so you know they just was like look you messed up having a good ass woman with intuition like you know her intuition was strong you, you can't do a woman like that that's got a strong intuition you'll never get away with shit okay somebody was telling your person like it is give me one more card for when this how did the masculine feel leaving this conversation how did the masculine feel well no let's lose this deck How did the masculine leave the conversation feeling? Give me a card that kind of represents where his energy was when they left this conversation.
we got sexual arts, okay? So this masculine was sexually frustrated just talking about you, okay? Somebody's masculine could be 33. This masculine was really horny after the conversation. I'm not saying that they was on the phone talking about you sexually, but shit, he could have been venting about how good you are in bed, the way your vagina is, okay? Something, yeah, we got home. So this masculine, you know, he felt like he want, he misses home, okay? With, with you is home. Your heart is where his home is, okay? He wants to be in your heart again. He wants to come home to you. He wants to fix this for somebody's masculine. He missed sex with you. He missed laying in your bed. He missed how you just made him feel, period. He just missed your aura, your essence, okay? That's how he felt. That's, that's what he's feeling. He's just feeling like this is where home is at. Like I said, he could have told this person you're where home is at, all right? Now he's also feeling like he needs to say what he means from, from here on out with you. If you do give him another chance or take him back in his mind, he's going to start saying what he means. And he's going to start putting action. This is his feelings now that he's lost you, okay? Now that he's, you know overlooking the situation and reflecting because your time away is giving him time to reflect but for some of these masculines they are engaging in sexual activities because they're still immature they're still a little boy and they still don't want to fucking grow up so they still ain't getting the memo that's why you know everybody's masculine is not on the same vibration or in, a, in the same level on their journey so that's why there are three different energies okay so what personality was this masculine in last night we got two cards, okay? We got the child, a child eternally, okay? We got light attributes, determination to remain young in body, mind, spirit, ability to see things with fresh eyes, and then the shadow attributes, the inability to grow up and be responsible, extreme dependency on others for physical security, okay? Then we got the gambler, willingness to follow intuition, even when the others doubt you willingly willingliness sorry and then the shadow attribute is rely on luck rather than hard work okay so somebody's masculine knows that they gotta let this little boy energy that's inside of them go a the fuck sap okay or it's gonna be a problem or they're gonna lose you forever or they'll forever be alone okay they know they need to get comfortable with they self internally as well they need to stop depending on people or depending on a woman or this like they do they really depend on women but for some of these masculines they hate women at the same time so it's weird some of these masculines minds is really fucked up okay also there's a masculine that was in an energy like okay i'm a caller so somebody's masculine was really fighting an urge last night to call your phone and vent and talk to you because um they just could they were in a very emotional energy last night over you the energies was high for the uh people that are not talking today masculine or feminine okay and they were just on the phone they were trying to stay on the phone with people to keep themselves from calling you they were in a gambler energy so they was willing to just get cussed out if that's what your reaction would have been they was willing to risk you hanging up on them risk you um you know, not even answering and feeling shitty, but also, you know, they were hoping that you would listen and answer and talk to them, okay? And then also they're beginning to realize that they are a child in a grown man's body and they need to fix that, okay? And what would they say if they you would have answered the phone? What would they have said if you would have answered the phone? What would they have said if you would have answered the phone? have said if you would have answered the phone we got i know i was a distraction from your pain so some of them feel like you used them okay this is the immature side of them they feel like you used them um to and I'm trying to grow off of them or you 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 know you only fucked with them for certain things okay this is somebody who's blaming the feminine still and then what is something they would have said if they for those masculines that want to grow up and to say the right things i'm becoming a better person and we will be together again so there's two energies within this energy some of these masculines wanted to call you and you know they wanted to apologize but not in a mature way okay they wanted to say oh i've realized that you know you dealt with me to just grow and i've helped build you up even if i was hurting you you know look at the woman you are now and i just feel like you know if you guys got with y'all person after a another bad breakup they're bringing this up or they want it to okay somebody's masculine 
even though they got all this wisdom, they reverted right back to the bullshit, okay? And for some of these masculines that was getting wisdom on the phone, they were going to call back on some grown man shit, on some, I'm going to become a better person. I'm, we is going to get together again. If you want me or not, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to still harass you and bother you until you forgive me type energy, okay? So, for this third energy, for we got the moving out card, okay? So, last night, last Friday night, some masculine spent their time moving out, okay? They were getting the fuck out of Dodge. They got put out. They made the decision that they got to start taking steps to get some of you guys back. All right, they tired of being in an unhappy situation, an unhappy marriage, an unhappy foundation, an unhappy relationship or setting. They are just taking some time out to do them. Some of these masculines didn't even tell whoever they lived with that they were moving out. They just packed a lot of clothes and they plan to be gone for a while. Okay, they plan to not really talk to nobody because too much bills is building up for them. Okay, this the whoever they are with. Wherever they live, it's a lot of money, okay? Or these bills is just everywhere. They don't got the money to pay these bills. And it's got them losing their mind, okay? It's got them in a mental mind control energy, okay? Also, um, they're realizing that whoever they were living with kind of had them under mind control, you know, making them feel guilty um, if they ever wanted to leave. Or this is somebody they felt like they were stuck with because this person could have done things for them or this person could have just, you know, been very supportive of them once upon a time and they just, you know, took on a lot of responsibility or they could have been staying with a, a parent that was draining their pockets and they felt guilty because they were grown living with their parents or somebody could be staying with a sister and they just feel responsible. Maybe this sister that they stand with helped them a lot. Okay, we got karmic woman. Okay, so this is a karmic woman energy. So for some of you guys as masculine, they don't live with a karmic woman. They live in with family members, but they feel guilty because these family members did something for them at a point and they want to repay them, but they've been kind of over repaying them. This person is being taken advantage of in somebody's situation. And in another situation, this masculine moved out from a karmic woman, okay? karmic woman a masculine broke it off with a karmic woman now this is not everybody's masculine you'll know if your masculine broke it off with this karmic woman why because he's gonna come to you and let you know that and he's gonna show you the proof okay so don't get to thinking like oh my masculine broke it off with her wait till you see the proof okay but for somebody's masculine definitely he cut that situation short he's tired of paying bills for this woman he's tired of this woman draining his pockets he's tired of the games that they play with each other they both had each other under mental mind control, okay? Or a karmic woman could have moved out. She's that side of his bullshit. Either way it goes, somebody's person spent their Friday moving away from wherever they live, packing their shit and going, okay? So how did this make this masculine energy feel when they moved out from this home? Like, what were their feelings? What were their thoughts? What were their feelings? What were their thoughts? sacrifice okay so somebody's masculine was willing to sacrifice everything to get out of this unhappy setting they didn't care they don't they're leaving the place wherever they live they're not paying no bills they leaving the shit past due they just want to start over okay and it's a woman on this card again they got tired of sacrificing for a woman that was ungrateful from the, for them of them okay so this could be you viewer or this could be if you know your person is dealing with somebody other than you this is the woman that they're dealing with okay that's not you or this could be you in their situation. This could be why somebody left you. And then I got prosperity begin. Somebody's ready for a new start, okay, with you. There's two hands on there. Somebody, we got sacrifice and prosperity begin. So somebody sacrificed everything. They made movements, choices, and decisions. They've been had these choices, who they really want to marry or who they should be married to. The money they're going to be making in a better way or they're done letting money control them and who they're in a relationship with or married to or, you know, they want to see the grass that's greener on the other side. They realize that the grass they thought was green ain't that green. OK, they're ready just to be happy. Somebody really thought this through. Somebody spent their time thinking everything through for a long time and they just sacrificed and jumped out on a leaf of faith and just said fuck it i'm leaving i can't do this somebody's birthday is on the second day the 12th 
uh, day or the 12th month or the second month, the first month or the first day. Somebody has one kid, somebody has two kids, somebody has a 12 year old, okay? But a masculine definitely walked away from a situation last night that just didn't serve him no more with a karmic woman. Somebody's karmic is um, either happy that this happened because they had a nigga that they was ready for somebody's masculine and their karmic was just kind of waiting on each other to just want who gonna leave first okay for some of them they're they're both relieved that they walked away from this situation they're both relieved that they're just it's somebody finally just said all right let's stop let's stop playing this game with each other we know we ain't meant for each other let's just stop doing this okay and now this masculine is seeing too that your prosperity has begun and he ain't missing out on, on that lifestyle. He getting his shit together so he can get it right for you, okay? For somebody's masculine. He wants to be with you and he knows that he's not going to keep letting you go too far or get get past him too much, all right? So give me um, a card for the personality this masculine was in when he uh, did this. We got slave, okay? So we got sur surrendering your power of choice to the divine uh, with complete trust. This is the light attribute, okay? So this is somebody who is, you know, they they nervous on making a decision. They don't know where their destination is when they make this decision or when they go, they just gonna go and they gonna find out on the way there, okay? They just trust in the universe to put them in a better position because they jumped out on this um, leap of faith about this situation, okay? So you, this masculine, you know, he was like, I don't have shit, I don't have a place to live, I don't have money, my DM, I mean, my DF is not talking to me, she ain't fucking with me, these other karmics ain't fucking with me, I'm kind of broke, but I'm so unhappy and I feel like this karmic energy is the catalyst to a lot of shit going on in my life, I just need to cut shit short now, I just need to take the step and do the right thing, I don't know where I'm gonna go as I'm going, but I'm, I know I'm gonna get somewhere, I'm gonna trust that God gonna make sure I'm straight, and they broke up with this person and left okay and then the shadow side the dark energy of this uh energy they were in giving your willpower to an external authority of, out of fear of making your own choice okay this masculine got tired of being a slave for this karmic woman or being treated like a slave or what all his all the things he's done for this karmic woman not being appreciated um not being reciprocated back to him or him just dissing a lot of people for this karmic woman because of what she does for him she just he just felt like a slave in this relationship i mean he was toxic to her too but she was toxic to him too so he's tired of busting his ass for somebody that's ungrateful of his love. He's also tired of mistreating family members, friends, kids, you for this karmic ungrateful woman. And he's just said, fuck it. I'm just, I'm, I'm dissing the woman that really loves me for you. And you don't even really care about me. All you look at me as is somebody that's going to pay your bills. I'm tired of this. I'm not doing this no more. Okay. I'm not doing this no more. So what energy did this lead this masculine in when he walk away from that setting that connection what energy did it lead a masculine in it left him in a love energy okay now he feels like he can be free he's free to think about you in peace without somebody in his fucking face okay somebody could be 28 all right but he's left this situation as well because he loves somebody okay and it ain't this karmic person all right it ain't her it's you all right he loves you and he realizes that he wants to be with you and he don't want to let this shit get too far too more far gone than it has to be and he got to make a move you ain't gonna keep waiting on him okay and she has a necklace so she, this woman could be some sort of like light worker or somebody could be practicing witchcraft in this situation however that resonates okay what other energy did he uh did this move out put him in what other energy did it put him in sadness okay it also made him sad to walk away from this karmic woman as well but he's choosing love over financial okay i ain't gonna say financial he was with this karmic energy for for reasons that were not for love okay and 
even though he was with this person, he care, he grew to care for this person, even though he dogged him out. Is this like people in jail, you they end up growing to love a cellmate for some people, okay? You you form a, a family in there. Or, you know, if you out on a, a retreat and you with each other for a long amount of time, y'all grow bonds, okay? He did grow a bond with this karmic woman. They do got memories, all right? But he just can't let this keep going on. He can't keep on acting like he's in love. He can't keep on you know, had, hiding his sadness because he's not with you anymore, okay? He's tired of doing that, and he's just tired of just just not being with you, okay? He's tired of the drama. He's tired of his world crashing down. He feels like his world has crashed down ever since he got with this person, and he's just tired of the energy, okay? He's ready to fix his life, or this is for somebody's masculine. This is how they spent their friday night so if you guys like this video make sure you comment below like share and subscribe to my channel please like this video if you have not okay to help this message get out to others that need this message when you like youtube videos it helps the videos surface through the the uh, website so give me a like if you liked what i said all right love and light to y'all